There are people who are earning all around this world so disproportionate to the action that they are offering that you could not possibly reconcile the wealth that's flowing to them. You just can't reconcile it. There are a majority of people that are accustomed to performing an action and receiving a financial response performing an action and receiving a financial response and when your income is tied to an action the amount that you can receive proportionately is minuscule and we would put the lottery even in that same sort of category when you're trying to make it happen by performing an action you are limited by the beliefs that you have about time and space in other words you will say I only I only make this much per hour and there's only this many hours in a day and then you can work overtime and you can work double time and you can work extra time and you can leverage your time in different ways but until you leverage through alignment you really are in the category with millions of other people where not very much is going to happen where if you say okay I'm willing to play the game differently I'm willing to accept on faith maybe a little that Abraham's right and that all of the struggling that I've done has put a lot of money for me in vibrational escrow and I'm willing to go on faith that this universe is abundance and that there is an open valve for me through which I can receive abundance I'm willing to go along with that idea and I'm willing to play it that way for just a little while where instead of considering action in relationship to money I instead consider emotion in relationship to money how do I feel about money how do I feel about money I'm gonna leverage through emotion rather than bang it out through action I'm gonna leverage now that doesn't mean stop your action go to work do whatever you need to do let the money come in in the little pitiful mediocre way that it flows into your experience in other words you, you don't want to pinch that off let it come but while it's coming appreciate it while it's coming look forward to it while it's coming uh, compliment yourself and compliment the others in other words let it be an energy game while you're living the action game because you can do both it doesn't have to be one or the other and then what you will begin to notice when you find ways of changing the way you feel about money for example when you go to purchase something and you're shocked at the cost of it Esther remembers years ago going into a department store and seeing the most beautiful blouse that she had ever seen and her heart just leaped because she liked it and wanted it and when she turned the tag over and saw how much it cost she felt such disappointment that she was mad at the department store she was angry at the industry she was angry at the manufacturer and if we had been visiting with her in those days we would have said to her Esther this is a turning point moment for you this is a moment where you had a knee-jerk reaction that turned you right upstream and a lot of people turn right upstream over something just like this but you can't let yourself have a knee-jerk reaction and be turned upstream and ever be in a position where things will be better for you you've got to soften this feeling and if we'd been talking to her then we would have said to her don't buy the blouse today but plan to get it later and appreciate the beauty of it and hold it in your mind's eye and Esther in that angry moment would have said buzz off whoever is talking in my head in other words she would not she would not have had any of that because she wanted it and she wanted it now and she couldn't afford it and she wanted it now and she wanted it now and she couldn't afford it and she wanted it now and she wanted it now but what we are saying her now cannot improve as long as she keeps having those kinds of knee-jerk reactions when you're jealous of people who have money you've got a habitual pattern upstream when you're disappointed that you don't have money you've got a habitual pattern upstream when you're appreciative of the money you have even if it isn't very much you're flowing downstream when you're appreciative of the money you have when you have the when the money that you have feels good to you and you say to yourself things like it's good that I have this money and I'm proud of myself for having brought this money into my experience and I'm a good budgeter of money and I like how far I've made my money go and I like I like the feeling of money and I like 
putting the money here for this and putting the money here for this and putting the money here for this I like this feeling of managing money and I'm good at managing money and I like this money and I'm looking forward to more money that is coming and as more money comes I'm gonna do this with it and this with it and the money that comes is gonna be fun in this way and this way and this way now no matter what your state of money there are people who have a lot more money than you do who are worried about it and have pinched themselves off there are people who have a lot less money than you do who are thrilled with it who have opened an avenue where there's abundance of money right on their doorstep in other words you just got to find a way to feel good about whatever the subject is in this case money and when you feel good about where you stand so here's here's we talked earlier about what we want you to leave here feeling above all other things and that is I have the power to turn in the stream and I don't need to put a motor on my boat and get all the way to the winning lottery ticket. I just need to turn in the stream as often as I can be aware. I just need to turn in the stream. And now we want to leave you with something that is equally important, which is I am where I am and that's okay. I'm putting my boat in the stream where it is. And everybody's up and down the stream putting their boat in the stream at different places. It doesn't matter because you're not in competition with anyone for any resources. The only thing that you, if there is any competition at all and there isn't, is the closing of the gap between the money you want and the money that you feel right now. So when you change the way you feel about money, even though there isn't any money that gives you the reason to feel the change, in other words, you got to find the feeling before you get the money. And when you find the feeling, you've turned in the stream. And when you've turned in the stream, you'll find the money.